Okay, so the last video was silent because I didn't want to bother my uh, colleagues. Um, but we can continue along with voice now again. As you notice, I've split this block in half and uh, it creates these two elements up here which are highlighted as two solid bodies. Uh, you can make them uh, visible or invisible by just right clicking and turning the visibility off. Um, but I want those back on actually for the meantime. And the last video I made two, uh, four little posts inside the box. So if I turn the view on to wireframe, you can see those extensions placed there. And the reason why I've done that is because I'm going to put four holes in here for screws to hold the two uh, halves of the box together. Um, and um, so I have to do, that's basically the last thing. It's going to be a very simple design. Uh, and also I'm going to uh, do something with the edges of these boxes which I'll show you in a moment. So we'll just orientate this back to the front and uh, we're gonna, okay to the top actually because we're going to put the holes in the top. Just swivel it around. Right, front again I mean. Okay now, see that Simon is in the wrong wrong road for the hole, so I'm going to have to move that. What I'll do is I'll just go to, I'll just exit from there, and I'll go to the embossing stage, sketch, edit sketch, and I'll just select that and I'll just drag it across so it's more central, um, and then finish sketch, and that'll uh, reproduce the embossing from that new location. So if I swivel around, you'll see that it's been moved. Go back to the front view again, zoomed up. Now the box itself is 20 millimeters deep. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to make um, 20 millimeter deep holes. And for that, we first we're going to put some center points on here so that we know where to put the holes. That means we've got to go back to sketch mode, just press escape, sketch mode, and select the plane that we're going to sketch onto, which will be the top plane of this box, and verify that that's what I selected, which it is. And then we press uh, center points here. We do four center points. Now the box wall is three millimeters thick, and we've got a five millimeter uh, extension to cover the holes. What we'll do is we'll put it about, we're going to use 3mm screws, so we're going to put it about 4mm in on each corner. So put 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. And you'll see this little yellow line lining up where the holes are going. 2, 3, 4. And then the last one. So that's that. Press escape and it's done. Now we're going to put these holes in there. So go model, hole. Now there's lots of uh, variables here. Uh, what I want is an uh, indentation for the screw head to go into. Uh, two millimeters should be fine. Uh, but I think the head is about five millimeter diameter. So we're going to put six here. And uh, total depth is going to be. Um, uh, 20 and we're not going to have this little pointy bit down but the diameter will be uh, uh, roughly 2.6 now actually as a, as a matter of point because we've got two box halves here I'll make the top half of the box um, a, a bigger hole size than the bottom half so what we're going to do is we're going to change the depth of that. I think I put the center line of that cut just off halfway. So I think it might be about 12. We can confirm that in a moment. And that's going to be uh, 3 millimeters. And I want a flat bottom. So I'll just go OK. And um, we'll rotate that around and just see how that turned out. Yeah, so it was 12 millimeters. That was a pretty good, pretty good guesstimate. Now I'm going to do the bottom half of those holes. So I'm going to flip it round, 
and uh, I'm going to sketch that from the bottom up. We'll just check that depth first. We'll use this to get that grid up. So we want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 millimeters deep. So we'll go back to sketching. I'll finish that. Sketch. And um, we'll have to rotate that around. Sketch and the bottom plane. Swirl it around. Yep, so that's pretty well right. Now put center points in again. One, two, three, four. Now I think I might have messed up here. This one's slightly off center, uh, but that's okay. That's okay for now since it's just a tutorial. And we go to the model holes. Now on this side we're just going to have a straight hole, and it's going to be 12. Uh, sorry, I think it was 11. I can always undo it later anyway. And the hole size is going to make 2. Point, 2. 6, I think is right. That'll give it a not too tight, but a little bit tight fit around the screw thread. Flat finish, and select those holes. They've already been selected, and then go OK. So we'll just swivel it round again, and yep, we've got that done perfectly. I'm quite happy about that. Now, just as an incident, I'd like to have some smooth corners on the inside, so I'm going to turn off those two layers two bodies one by one and just go view salt shaded and go back to here and I'd like to fill it all those corners now just gonna see how it's like the whole thing cancel that go up here and uh, select face and edges so now it's hi highlighting the face and edges Fill it there. We're going to fill up these ones. Just to make it nice on the inside there. Oops. Cancel that. Try again. orientate that round so I get a better view. Press escape and then go back in. That's it. Orientate a bit more. Escape. And then press apply. So now it's just made a nice smooth finish to the inside of that box. I think you'd agree that looks quite pretty now. Now I'll go to the top half and do the same thing. So press escape, get out of that. Turn the visibility back on there, turn the visibility off there. Turning the visibility on and off just helps you uh, select the right surfaces when you're doing various tasks. Otherwise it gets a bit confusing. All right, so do the same thing, fill it. Incidentally, I'm doing all one millimeter fillets here. apply and that's done. Cancel out of that and you look at that and it's very very pretty. So um, turn those bodies two back on again. Hang on. Exit. Visibility back on again and just go to the front to the front view again. 
rotate that round and like that. Safe.